I'm Captain Lawrence Yufa. On the last episode of Captain's Log, we discussed the infamous pirate Polycrates and his naval empire. With his death, the Mediterranean was mostly cleared of piracy, that is, until Histius of Miletus came along. There is a much needed history of war here that will take far too long to cover in a video like this, but I will go over it briefly. If you want more in-depth explanations, you can look up the Ionian Revolt and the Persian invasions of Greece. Histius was the ruler of the Greek city of Miletus, at a time when Greece was ruled by the Persian Empire. In 513 BC, the Persian Emperor Darius I decided to campaign against the Scythians north of the Danube. The Persians left their Greek subjects in charge of the bridge over the Danube while they attempted to deal with the nomads. Darius' campaign soon became bogged down, so he decided to return to the bridge. While he had been away, the Greeks were discussing if they should destroy the bridge. Histiaeus was able to convince them not to destroy the bridge, and Darius and his army were able to retreat intact. Histiaeus was given lands in Thrace as a reward. Eventually, Histiaeus got on Darius' bad side and was sent to Susa, where he lived as a prisoner. Histius began to send messages to his successor and son-in-law, Aristagoras, in an attempt to convince the Ionian cities to revolt. In order to get the message past Darius, he had one of his slaves shave his head, and then tattooed the message onto the shaved head. His hair was then allowed to regrow, and the slave was sent to Miletus. It was here the slave told Aristagoras to shave his head and read the message. The Ionian Revolt began, and Histius was able to convince Darius that he could curb the rebels. He went to Sardis, where the satrap Artaphernes suspected Histius' role in the revolt. This forced Histius to flee to Chios, where he tried unsuccessfully to build a fleet. He then returned to Miletus with the aim of becoming a tyrant once more. However, the Miletians didn't want him, so they exiled him to the island of Lesbos. There, he gathered some ships and began committing acts of piracy in the Black Sea and Aegean Sea from a base in Byzantium. Soon after the Battle of Laid, he was captured and beheaded by Artaphernes. His head was sent to Darius, and Darius still believed that Histius was innocent, so he gave the head a proper funeral. After Histius, piracy was still prevalent in the Mediterranean, but only in small groups. Crete, which we have discussed in earlier videos, still remained a strong pirate base, that is, until the formation of the Delian League. In 478 BC, the Athenians formed this league to continue fighting the Persians after the second Persian invasion of Greece. City-states would join the league over the course of a few decades, and they were able to build a powerful fleet. With the rise of the Athenian naval empire, the threat of piracy was severely diminished. The historian Thucydides didn't think that piracy was all that big of an issue for the Athenian Empire or the Delian League, but evidence suggests otherwise. In 476 BC, the Delian League, led by the Athenian general Cimon, invaded the island of Skyrus, where Delopian pirates were based. The pirates on the island were known to plunder every ship that came through, even the ones that were trading with them. This posed a threat to trading in the Mediterranean, so the Delian League had to stop them. According to Plutarch, the sea was cleared of piracy. This may be a bit of an overstatement, but the result might as well have been just that. The formation of the Delian League signaled the first Greek attempt to actually clear the seas of piracy. Athens was able to hold piracy at bay for the next century, that is, until the rise of the Aetolian League, which will be covered next video. But that's all for this episode. Till next time, fair winds, for we may never meet here again.